Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. Today I'm making whole wheat bread. Just the plain whole wheat bread. We're going to need, I think, three cups. Hold on. I'm reading recipes again. Yes, we're going to need three cups of warm water. So what you do, you put three cups of cold water on it. And then what you're going to do is just take the chill off it. Chill off of it and it should take you right to that point. Now, if you're unsure, warm water will be when you put it on your wrist and you cannot feel the temperature. That'll be, that'll mean it's at perfect temperature of 98.6. So we're not going to be using any flour but whole wheat. If you can handle whole wheat, we'll be able to move into those other grains. For those of you who don't know how to, uh, or are comfortable with them, or are unsure because they're harder to work with, they're only harder in the fact that they take longer. So you have to give them a little more attention than you normally do. White bread will grow rather quickly. Now it's not going to take long for that. We are going to use, oh, I love this part, <clears throat> three fourths of a cup of honey. Okay. I thought I was losing it. Now, if you get your uh, water too hot, I'll let it get a little overheated, and I'll show you what I do. If it gets overheated, because if it's cold, it's going to take twice as long. We need three fourths of a cup of honey. Now, if you don't have honey and you have molasses, you can use molasses. If you want to mix it up, Put part honey, part molasses, you could do that as well. But it has to be three fourths of a cup. So we'll let that water get a little hot so I can show you how, if I overheat it, what I have to do. Most recipes are going to tell you to proof your yeast, put it in a little bit of water to see if it bubbles. But if you keep track of your jar dates and stuff on them, or packages, you're fine. Unless you kill it. And that would be if you make the water or the milk or whatever you're using hotter than it should be, you will cause a definite problem. It's a little warm. So I'll pour half a cup of water out. Okay, this is how I do it. And I will add a half a cup of cold water. Mix it all up. Let's see if I brought the temperature down. <laughs> That's how I do it. I'll pour cold water in it. Your water is really hot you'll have to use more cold water just pour out that much hot water and add cold water and you can balance it out it's no problem you're going to need a hold on a tablespoon of salt i'm going to use my kelp Remember, I've been making bread for a very, very long time. A little bit of water. My first bread was French bread. My first quick bread, I think, was biscuits, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time. All right, we're going to need three packages of yeast. Now, if you're using this, it will be, be 2.6. be two tablespoons if you use this. Two tablespoons and 
one, two, three fourths, and three fourths of uh, three fourths to go with two tablespoons. Well, this time I went through this one. See, this one's dated March 19th of 2025. So I've got a long way to go and I'm almost done with the jar. So I know this yeast is very good because I keep it right under my butter compartment in the refrigerator, which is the right temperature. Do not freeze it. If you do, you will be sorry. Now let's see, did you get everything? We added the salt, the yeast, the honey, the water. We need a fourth of a cup of oil. Now you've added everything into it except now for the flour and that's pretty much it. The ingredients you will need. You know, so I'm not in a hurry to beat it or anything because I know it's taking care of itself. sounds like a lot. If you're afraid it's going to be too heavy and you can't handle it, uh, substitute two of the whole wheat for two of the all-purpose and uh, until you get more comfortable. So we're going to start with two cups and we're going to keep this in. So see, when you make your bread, you can sit there and make all kinds of bread. So it'll come out really, really nice. Don't worry if you have some lumps, they're gonna go away soon enough. It's been working. I love this bread recipe. <laughs> Beat it some at this point, so you're activating that yeast, letting it know which they you want it to do. Because that actually triggers it. It loves that, because you're beating air into it and mixing it thoroughly. Thicker. I 
know it's not going to take two cups that easily because this is five cups we've added in already. I didn't forget about the bagels. It's just the bagels will take a little longer, and right now I'm cleaning the house at the same time, so I need some time to get that done and uh, get those bagels going, and I'll show you how to do them. I make a bed of flour like this so I can work this flour in on it, and it's not sticking to the counter and I'm scrubbing it. It will stick. Not when I'm, it's at this point. It's going to be easier on me. And you also notice when you work with it, it's much lighter than you realize the whole week. Now, you notice I didn't add anything nutritious to this because this is a whole grain right here. So I really didn't have to do much. That's why I used my oil. You could use butter. Or you could use shortening, but I had that all of that all, all, that oil blend that has a lot of nutrients in it. So that's how I picked the value up of this. I'm going to make this two parts because I have to cook dinner so they can take it to work with them. Now this bread is going to make three loaves, three one pound loaves. If you have one and a half pound loaves, which are nine by five, you'll be making two. But if you're using the eight and a half by four and a half, you're going to be making three loaves. So you decide whichever one and I'll give you the cooking time for each one because they do change because you are changing the loaf size. And I will repeat this information on part two to make sure that it's known.
I don't know if you have this for a holiday. I hope I have the recipe if I can find it. We used to have a prunella cake. My grandmother created it. And um, it's a lovely cake that you serve with whipped cream. Yes, it's made with prunes and prune juice, I think. If I remember correctly, prune and prune juice, I'm not sure. And uh, that is a Christmas dessert that we have, which I love dearly. Though most people get upset and say, oh, it's a prunella cake. It's got prunes in it. That doesn't matter. It's got good flavor in it is what counts. So I'm thinking about if I can find that recipe showing you how to make it. I tell you, some recipes, it takes me forever to find them. I can't remember which cookbook it's in. And then I'm making a cookbook as well. My girlfriends are giving me recipes left and right. And I, I said, wait, 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 wait. And I'm writing them down, trying to get them all down. I have a collection. Now, if you take your whole wheat out of the freezer and you start working, you don't get a time to go to room temperature, it's going to take a lot longer to rise because it's got to get to room temperature. Please remember that. You can take it out the night before and put it on the table, someplace for cats and dogs. And, you know, if you have pets, don't get into it. And um, in the morning, it'll be the right temperature for you to work with. This is showing it doesn't want anymore. See how the bread's acting? That's how you know it doesn't really want much more. Thank goodness I'm getting tired <laughs> and I still got a lot more to do. I'm just putting the last flour in and then we'll clean the bowl. Put this flour with my flour over there I cook with. This is I'm actually putting hot water in it because I want this as hot as I can get it to keep it nice and warm because in the autumn and winter the house is just as warm as it normally is to get the rice that you want in a hurry. So what I do is I really heat my bowl up. Not enough to kill these, but get it warm enough to hold it as long as possible to heat while it does what it has to do.
This is the same oil that I put in. It's just that I use this instead of pulling out half a gallon jar. It's easier to put some in here and use it when I'm cooking. Okay, now we're gonna let that double. So I'm gonna close this video off. Part two will be on, the next video will be coming.